I was frantically connecting to all sorts of websites, trying to gather information for a report on how the internet affects us today, its pros and cons, and what type of information we can gain access to at the touch of a finger. I worked on this every night until early morning for weeks. I was so exhausted, I just clicked on site after site. I struggled to keep my eyes open as my eyelids became extremely heavy. The coffee didn't seem to help me from drifting off anymore. At some point, I stopped looking at the links and just continued clicking, half asleep. I was working away on what seemed to be an endless task, until one link unexpectedly shut my computer down. I immediately opened my eyes as if I was wide awake. Immediately, panic took over me. Did I break it? Did I accidentally download a virus? Was I hacked? I was completely stressed. All I could think was, what if I just lost all my work? I don't even know what I'm going to do now. I had no more time. I shook my head and slapped my face to try to calm myself down. Maybe I can restart it. Perhaps I had nothing to do with that link, and it was all a crazy coincidence. I tried to restart it a few times, but I couldn't get it to work, so I thought maybe I could bring someone to fix it. But how would I pay for this? Clutching my hands into fists, I leaned over, putting my head down. I took a deep breath, shook my head again, and decided to take a break. I knew I needed to walk away for a bit before I completely lost my mind. I needed to distract myself for a while, then I could be more clear-headed, and for sure I'd be able to come up with a solution. It didn't take long for me to fall asleep once I sat down. I was obviously depriving myself, so I suppose I needed it. My rest didn't last since I got woken up to the sound of someone clicking on a keyboard. I opened one eye at a time, searching the room for the sound, when I noticed my computer was back on. Maybe I dreamed the whole thing, I thought to myself, and I noticed the typing sound was definitely someone typing on my computer. Was I getting hacked? I had no idea how to stop this. I tried to turn off my desktop once again, but I couldn't. I had no control. I slumped helplessly back into the chair as I sat and watched in confusion and horror. A few minutes had passed, seeming more like hours, when I noticed some movement on the screen. It looked like some sort of video was loading. I could see a girl in the dark. She was speaking in a language I didn't understand, almost as though she was in a trance. I remember her young. She couldn't have been any older than me and you. I was strangely drawn to what she was wearing. It looked like a long white dress. But man, it was hard to make out as she was in the distance. And she slowly started to walk forward. It looked as though it may have been a wedding dress. Then she stopped and just stood there staring at the screen. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen, I thought. I was about to get up and go searching for coffee, and I began to hear the same typing again. Although this time, words started to appear on the screen as if someone had just started typing. The lights turned off all at once, like in a horror movie. The words on the screen read, I will be your only focus. Look at me, and I will see you. What kind of torture was this? I didn't know why this was happening. I would never intentionally go on the dark web. Were they watching me? No, I was done. I'm leaving. I shut off the computer and headed for the door as fast as I could. Right there, the computer came back on. At this moment, I wish I had a laptop, so I could just close it and I wouldn't have had to see this. I heard a loud crash, so I looked again to see where the noise had come from. She had broken a mirror and started to slice herself, starting with her arms, then her legs, then her body, and last her face. Just when I thought she was finished, she took the shard of the mirror, plunged it into her neck, and sliced across with a grip so hard, blood gushed from her hands. I sat there, quiet and in shock for a while. I couldn't even tell you for how long, can't say. What did I just witness? She sat there lifeless, slumped down on the ground, like a pile of dirty laundry soaked in blood. I turned off my computer, but I could see the screen was on as I walked away. I must have not turned it off properly, I thought, so I unplugged the computer and left. I was hoping this was just a result of a lack of sleep. I thought it might be best to leave my apartment for a while, I didn't even wait for the elevator. I just ran down the stairs as fast as possible. I didn't feel safe until I was outside the building and down the street at the nearest open coffee shop. As I sat down on my stool, focusing on a tear in the side, I took a sip of my coffee. I never felt so relieved in my life, although I could still feel my heart pumping a million miles an hour. Okay, maybe that's an exaggeration, but you would be petrified if you saw what I saw. I went back home the next day, sometime in the afternoon I believe. 
The memory seemed to be behind me, like some kind of passing bad dream. I was starting to feel normal again. I eventually fell asleep in bed. While I was sleeping, I heard a noise from the other room, so I walked out to see what it was. To my surprise, the computer was on again. All I could think was no. Why? The woman was still slumped over, but this time she was crying. I was in disbelief. Didn't I just watch this woman die? As I proceeded to turn the damn thing off, the crying turned into hysterical laughter. The dead woman stood up and started walking towards the screen. I was so terrified, I ran back to my room, locked the doors and pulled the covers over my head like a little kid. As I sat under the blankets, trying one more time to make sense of this, I thought how stupid I was. This had to be a prank from someone, definitely stage. After all, nobody comes back from the dead. This must be a prank, a very mean prank, I said, repeatedly trying to convince myself. I must have fallen asleep because one minute it was the night, and next it was the morning. After waking up the following day, I snuck out of my bedroom with my bare claws slipper in hand, as if I could actually protect myself with a soft, squishy slipper. In a moment of terror, you just grab the first thing you can find, which then becomes your weapon. The first thing I did was sneak over to the computer, but everything was fine. I even rebooted my computer a few times just in case. I felt some sort of comfort. The whole day went by without anything out of the ordinary happening, which almost worried me. I thought that as soon as I relaxed, something terrifying would happen again. Still, after that night, I never saw that dreadful girl again. My computer went back to normal. Or so it seemed. About a month went by, completely incident free. Finally, I was starting to feel safe again. One night while falling asleep, I was awoken to cold gripping hands, clutched tightly around my arms. I wanted to get up, run, escape. My limbs felt so heavy. Dizziness renders me helpless. All I could do was watch and let whatever this was happen. I couldn't move my head. I tried looking around the best I could. I noticed that my computer was in front of me, and I could see an image of myself. This would be my last memory, as everything began to fade out, eventually turning black. This is how I will die. In the end, I lay dead on the floor in a wedding dress. My computer sends notifications with links to all my contacts. This would be the end for me, but maybe just the beginning for you. Welcome to the dark web.